off that fourth quarter. Green flag is out for Bernie Finnegan. Now the front shoot. And they go side by side down to the corner. Connors coming away with the lead as they head down the back straight. Danny Connors takes the lead down the back straight. And no, he does not. Champagne shoots to the inside, but had him back out of there. Car in trouble in turn three. Champagne in the 55. Champagne bringing out the yellow flag as something broke on the car. He went to the outside. His left rear is flat. Left rear flat tire on the number 55. Flag is back out. Donners trying to pull away right away. Couple of guys going to the outside looking for racing room. Back here it's a uh, 25, but Danny Bowes was looking for room. As Bellinger goes to the outside down here, he, he picks up one spot. Bellinger in the 02. Coming down off that fourth corner now, your race leader, the 01, Danny Connors. Connors started on the outside front row. He is out in front. He's got Schulich right behind him. Gosek running a very tight third. Sloat is up there in fourth. And the 94, Logan Rivals rounds out the top five. We got to spin down here in the corner. Looks like the uh, 98 of Tyler Thompson, 66, Louis LeMay Jr. Spun down here to avoid the uh, 98 of Thompson. LeBay will not be penalized. Thompson will have to go to the rear of the field. So we are ready to get back racing here at the Oswego Speedway. Connors again getting on it in a hurry, going down the back straight. The leaders all pulling away. The first four pulling away from fifth running. 94, Logan Rivals. Green is out down the front shoot. And is Danny Connors out in front. Shula going to look to the outside. Connors drifts a little bit high between one and two. Shula could not take advantage. Gosick right there in third. Slow running in the number four spot, running up the top five. Logan Rivals. They come around here to complete lap number five. And we got a car in the wall down here in turn three, in turn one. That is Eric Iosu. He was running nine. Diosu scatters the foam down here in the first turn. Well, I'll tell you what, I missed that entirely. I was watching the battle going on with uh, Shulik and Gosek and Connors for the top three spots. Dave Shulik out in front. Gosek not going to let him get away. He is right there with him. Gosek is in a new spot. Slowed running in third. Followed by Connors and Rivals. Green is out down the front straight. Dave Schulich Jr., the race leader, but Joe Gosick right there with him. Gosick way high down here in turn one. Slowed, trying to get in underneath, could not quite do it. Here comes Michael Barnes. Barnes to the inside, takes two cars. Goes down the back straight. Barnes, he moves into the top five. Gosick way high. Barnes down to the inside. They're in mixed up with the slower traffic down the back straight. Gosick has the faster line. No, he does not. Here comes Barnesy, but Gosick hangs on. Gosick, the 95 of Schulick is in trouble. There are four laps remaining. The 95 of Schulick is in trouble running out of fuel. Schulick and the 95, the Val and Sloan have enough time to catch him. Two, three laps remaining now three laps and I think he's got enough time if he can coast at home he does not slows down even more here comes Allison Sloan picking up the race lead Champagne into the pits of the 55 Allison slowed now Allison Sloan has caught the leader and is going to pass him on the back straight Sloan takes over the lead but here look at this go, go. Gosick takes the lead. Slow to spin. Go spins. Gosick got the lead momentarily. Cummins was running out of fuel. From guys, with Dave Schulich. Uh, Dave, first off, you okay? Yeah, I'm all good. Uh, oh, well, really don't really know what happened there. I was running out of fuel. Um, tried to get down to the bottom, and then uh, Joe got on front. And I could see him getting sideways, and really the only place for me to go was to the top side, and it was closing up quick, and uh, that's the result. Oh, Dave Schulich, man, you had him covered tonight, buddy. We'll see you next week. Right, and they will start to pick up the pace going down the back street. Everybody in a hurry. Here we go. Barnsley is on it down in the corner. Green flag is out. Sinnerly looking to the outside. Sinnerly trying to make a run in that number seven. He is running fifth. Green flag as your race leader is the 
68 of Michael Barnes, and I think he has got this one. Zitterly working on the 05 of Abold for fourth. Meanwhile, down the front straight, Michael Barnes, the number 68, gets the white flag. One more time to go. Barnes out in front by Darrow second, Dancer third. They come around on lap number 75. The 68 of Michael Barnes out in front inherited the lead with two to go. He is going to take home the checkered flag. There it is. Barnes gets the win. Guy Darrow in second. Dancer third. Abel fourth. Center lead fifth. Connors finishes in sixth. Bowes is seventh. Ray Valls is in eighth. Thompson runs ninth. And Timmy Snyder rounds out the top ten. Michael, a lot of drama there in the end. We got flat tires, we got a car up at the side. I talked to Eric before the race, tells me you're gonna start in Scriba, and then here we are, you're in victory lane. Yeah, we uh, made some gains on it. And, uh, yeah, we, we made up to the top five, which is pretty good for the way we've been running, so um, and just at the end there, a DJ must run out of fuel or something, and uh, Allison hit the wall. Joe, I don't know, he, I think he hit Allison. Um, I don't know. I just want to say, you know, it's for my uh, cousin that passed away, Michaela Guile. Um, you know, she uh, was a big fan here and always supported the team. And uh, I think my guys enough. They haven't gave up even when I wanted to. So they just keep working hard and uh, just uh, they gave me a good card tonight. And, uh, got to the front and, you know, did what we could do. 20 laps is the distance. They start to pick it up. You hear the roar of the small block Chevrolet's. Down they come, Anthony on the bottom part of the speedway, bringing it right down. Anthony goes to the point, picks up that number one spot. Kingsley right there and also trying to close right in is Dalton Doyle. Dalton won the feature out here a week ago. They race going down in between turns number three and four. Coming out of turn number four and bringing them down the front straightaway. Anthony Lasoro, he leads it going down into turn number one. Anthony, Dalton, and Barry. Anthony goes a 18. 687, 18687 to complete lap number one as they race going down in between turns number three and four. Anthony looking for a double feature win here tonight. Dalton Doyle though, the quick car with an 18167. And Dalton is getting quicker as he comes storming out at turn number two. He'll come down two laps to go. Two to go, Anthony Lasorto. Race is going down and once again, Dalton Doyle looks down onto the inside. Dalton had a good look onto the inside coming off of turn number two, but Anthony fended him off. They race coming off of turn number four. Ladies and gentlemen, white flag is out. This is it. Anthony up there on the top side. Anthony holds on to that number one spot. Dalton Doyle right there in the number two spot. Dalton comes showing a wheel on the inside. Dalton had a go going coming out of turn number two. Is he going to be able to do it? And look at Barry Kingsley closing in now. Scorers stand by. Down they come here in the front straightaway. It's Lasardo taking the win. Doyle is second. Kingsley is third. Top three cars all right together. They went an 18-7, a 19-0, and an 18-7. Well, we're down here in Victory Lane. Guys, that's a uh, good company. Here's Jack Murphy to have two features in the uh, same night. Anthony Lacerdo picking up the 350 Super Wing Super feature tonight. Let's have a big hand for him before I get a, get a word with him. Anthony. Earlier he said you didn't, you didn't, you didn't really have a good feel for it tonight, but... Uh, here we are again, deja vu all over again. Congratulations. Yeah, starting on the pole always helps, but uh, first off, I got to say thanks to all these guys. We've been thrashing on this car for months on end now. We're getting there. I mean, I still think Dalton was a little better. I could see he was all over us, but I just drove my hardest and tried to keep him behind me, and um, I got to thank Dalton for racing me clean, too. Well, you definitely had to work a little harder on that one. Yeah, whoever says driving race cars is easy, they're lying to you. They'll jump in one and then jump right back in another one. It's, it's not easy. But um, I got to thank all my sponsors. I forgot Paul's Big M when I was just down here, so they're a huge help. Uh, CHC, Castillo, Lawn Care, Cam's Pizza, Stephen Joyer's Farm. So, um, like I said, all the guys, they've been thrashing on these race cars. So, Congratulations again. 350 winner, Anthony Lacerdo. Anthony's going to pull the 50-50 the tonight.
and they'll read the number off for us. We got an orange ticket, number? 639117. 639117, orange ticket. You got to split it with me. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. It's Anthony Lacerdo in Victory Lane tonight. Holiday Inn Express. Tracy Carvel going to present him with the winner's plaque tonight. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, the Ferrand Motor Chevrolet main truck pulls in at the rear pitch gate, taking in the little small block Chevrolets, coming out of turn four, and the green lights are on. Hammer down, Sokola inches ahead, coming down here in the front straightaway, going down into turn number one, coming out of turn number two. Sokola, O'Connor, they go bumper to bumper, going down that back straightaway, going down into turn number three. Sokolik still up, uh, hanging up onto the outside, but down on the inside, it's Greg O'Connor. O'Connor is going to lead this lap, coming down. Sokolik second, Latula, Bruce, and Bro rounding out the top five. They rumble coming off the corner. Sokolik gets up wide. He gets passed for the number two spot. Latula on a charge. So is Bruce. So is Cameron Rowe. They all crowd together, coming out of turn number four and down the front straightaway. The quick lap is Dave Latula, who is now running second. Sikolik has dropped back to fourth. Haynes is now running fifth. Cameron Rowe. Anthony Lasorto. Lasorto seven foot. He's on a charge. Lasorto works up onto the outside, going down into turn number three. Meanwhile, Greg O'Connor brings him down out of turn number four. O'Connor still the leader with a 19.553. Up turn number two. O'Connor on the top side. Latulip. And we got a looper going down into turn number three. It's the number 04 of Mike Bruce. And we have one other car up there. I cannot pick up the number. Both cars are going to be pulling away under their own power. The Burrett Motor Safety Truck out onto the speedway. 24 laps to go. We've got 11 laps in. Racetrack is clear up there in between turns number three and four. They start to pick it up, double file, going entering turn number four. Green lights are on. Bottom part of the speedway, and it looks like the outside lane, Latula. Latula looks like he's going to be able to inch ahead. Dave Cliff now up in the number three spot, number four spot, up onto the outside. Here comes Anthony Lasorto in car number one, the big one. He scoots from fourth up to the number two spot, bringing it down out of turn number four. Anthony on the charge, coming down the front straightaway. Anthony now up to second, O'Connor third, Cliff is back there fourth, and we got troubles in River City again. As once again, the number 04 of Mike Bruce gets sideways, entering or down in between turns number one and two. He's going to be able to pick it up and uh, put it in the rear of the field. Bird Motor Chevrolet Silverado pulls off the Speedway Racing surface. They go bumper to bumper going down in that back straightaway. Restart coming out of turn number four. They get into the small block Chevrolets. They hit the hammer on the high side of turn four and the green lights are on. Down they come. The drag race is on going down into turn number one. Anthony Lasorto on the outside. Dave Cliff is now up to the number three spot. Anthony trying to pull a half a car ahead. He's now trying to pull a full car ahead. Latula rides back there to number two spot. Here's Dave Cliff. Dave rumbles on the bottom part of the speedway. Dave trying to get up there. Latula still second. Cliff, O'Connor, and Rowe rounded out the top five. They race down off of turn two and down the back straightaway. Dave Cliff with a little bit of a wobble going down into turn number three and now closes in. Dave Cliff taking a look down on the inside. Dave trying to pick it up to pick off that number two spot. Can't do it. Anthony Lasorda goes a 19.000. He is the quickest car in the entire race. Two laps to go. Anthony slows it down again. 19.008 on that last lap. Brings it down the back straightaway, down into turn number three. And when he comes around this time, the white flag will be in the air. It'll be one more time around. Anthony goes at 19.005, slows it right down in turn number two. I think he knows he's got himself a big lead. Dave Cliff is second. He won a 19.198. Ladies and gentlemen, winning the Firecracker 35, it's Anthony Lasorto. Anthony taking a win. Dave Cliff is going to be second. Then it's going to be Dave Latulip in the number three spot. Cameron Rowe. Cameron Rowe is going to be fourth. Mike Cruz, Brad Haynes, Josh Sikolik.
finishing in the number seven spot. Guys, we got Tracy Carvel down here come with the 35 lap feature win. Anthony, uh, you kind of made that a stinker. Way to go. You drove away from the whole. Yeah, we got out front early, and uh, this car has just been so hooked up all year long. Um, I knew pretty much no one was going to have nothing for us except for maybe the 50, so got a little nervous when I seen he was in second, but I looked at the screen and seen we had a good lead on him, so it worked out. You got a pull in double duty tonight. You got anything for him in the 350s? Uh, I don't know. We've been struggling a lot with that new car. Uh, trying a new top wing tonight and worked out in time warm-ups and we made a little change for the heat and we were just out to lunch so we'll see what we got in the future.